What's up y'all? This your girl Gold Mom coming at y'all with another cooking video. In this video I'm going to be cooking chicken and noodles. Maybe you can call it chicken noodle soup. I don't know. If you're interested, stay tuned. So what I already did was I already had cooked the the uh, chicken and I forgot to turn my camera back on. But anyway, I took the chicken thighs. Those, those chicken thighs y'all sent me bag up. Um, I put those chicken thighs in this pot. I boiled them. Um, I boiled them for the first the first boil. I boiled them and I let the fat cook off the meat. Um, you know that's like cleaning the chicken. That's another way to clean the chicken for me. Um, I boil it. I had the water all the way kind of high, and then when the fat uh, cook off the meat, I pour it out, I pour the fat off. So I poured that whole first pot of water off the meat. Then I rinsed it off and I cleaned up, made sure I got all the fat out of there. Then I poured water back in it again. And I, that's the water that I actually cooked it in. So, um, it cooked on, ooh, medium high heat for about two hours. So this has been cooking for two hours and then when it was completely done, I added a can of peas and carrots to the mix and you can actually see those peas and carrots in there. I see that? And I brought it back to a, uh, I, I turned it on low and I let it cook the peas and carrots and I had it on low like low medium heat and I let those cook for about 20 more minutes just to get the peas and carrots done and that's it y'all I season this with you season this with whatever you want now I'm gonna tell y'all this remember how I cook those chicken wings the same way I cook these if y'all ever looked up how I cook my chicken wings those hot wings the same way I cook these and I just added all the seasonings and I just let the water cook it and the water eventually turns into a gravy you see how that looks so so my next step is the noodles okay so the next thing i did was got my noodles and i cooked them i brought them to a boil and i let them cook now the next thing i'm, I'm going to do with these noodles is i'm going to drain the uh water off of those noodles these are wide egg noodles they look like this i got two packs okay, so i have completely drained my noodles and i added some more water to the to the mix and what i'm going to do next i added more water to the mix. The reason why I drained the noodles is because I um wanted to take off the excess starch that comes, you know, in the noodles. So I poured that water off and put some more water in, but not as much. Okay, so I've added one can of cream of chicken into the mix, into the noodles, and I'm going to add the other can and just stir it up until it starts to um, cook again. When you see it, when you see bubbles coming up, then let it cook on low. You can season this to taste. I like to put a little bit of um, complete seasoning in there. And I like to put black pepper in it. And a little bit of makeup. That's what parsley flake is to me, makeup. <laughs> I call it makeup because it don't taste like nothing, so it's just for decoration. Just like you make your face pretty with makeup or ugly, <laughs> vice versa. Um, that's what parsley flakes do to food. So what I do next is I take a piece of this chicken. I'm going to take a couple of pieces of this chicken. And uh, I'm going to put it in another separate pan here. And I'm going to uh, add this piece of, these pieces of chicken to my mix. The, way, the reason I'm putting it in this separate pan here is because... What I want to do is take the skin off of it, and once I take the skin off of this chicken, I'm going to add this chicken to my noodles. Okay, y'all, so what I ended up doing instead was I took the bones out as well as the skin off. The, it was, you know, it was already falling off the bones, so the skin was, in the skin and the bones was easy to come off. So, so now this chicken is going to go into the soup. Okay, so I'm just going to put that in there like that. I want to put it all in there, y'all, but, uh, nah. We're just going to do it like this, okay? We're going to serve the, the noodles, and whoever wants a piece of chicken is going to put their chicken on the side, okay? Because I don't like to have a pot full of, you know, stuff like this, and then you be biting into little bitty bones and stuff. So this is how we're going to do this. Now that is done and ready to eat. Okay, so I added a little bit more of the um, 
sweet peas and carrots into this mixture and it's done and ready to eat just like that we're gonna serve it on a plate and put some chicken on the side with some vegetables okay okay y'all here's what it looks like all plated up and ready to eat as y'all can see i'm missing a few plates because um scooby sleep um so i don't have anybody to taste test it so but y'all already taste it and it is good so y'all let me know if y'all try this recipe and if y'all feel like i did anything wrong feel free to let me know okay because I, I don't mind being corrected or or improved on any cooking uh that i any cooking video that i have okay let me know if y'all can tweak it a little bit and make it your own make it your own you know this is how i did mine okay um this is all i got to say in this video y'all and i will holler at y'all later bye <laughs>